OK 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 Hello Hello <coughs> Hello Phoebe You always be the first one It's nice to see you here again Well, last week we didn't streaming any keyboards. Glad we get back with our coming soon keyboards. Okay, okay. Absent from streaming for a week, I'm still trying to get everything done so that I can start the streaming very quick. How does my voice sound and the music? Phoebe, can you give me some feedback? Welcome back to Apple Maker Weekly Live Streaming. Let's wait until 10 10 for more people to come in. And then we start to introduce our brand new products Shadow S, new addition to the shadow series. Well, should I get a shadow X for comparison? I will go get one. Shadow X, shadow X. Where is shadow X? Okay, got the Shadow X here. Quite different, huh, this two keyboards.
Let's wait until 10:10 10, 10 to start our streaming. Well, for be how's your weather today? Well, in my area, it's rainy, <laughs> heavy raining today. Will there be a black color in the future? You mean shadow S? Well, well, I cannot be very sure about the, you know, the black silver. Always the black silver color thing. But maybe we we may take it into consideration for if if there's more needs about the black version. It's so windy here. Oh, that must be a little bit cold. Hello, Tarian. Hello. Hello to everyone. Well, does YouTube update it? Can, why can I see how many people are watching and can I see my description? I think I changed the layout of how the how it shows on the YouTube, how the streaming shows. For now, I cannot see how many people are watching the streaming. Okay, fine. All right, whatever. Okay, it's 10, 10 already. Maybe we should start our streaming with no matter how many heroes have joined us. Okay, hello guys, welcome back to Epo Maker's weekly live streaming channel. We have absent from streaming last week, so we get back this week. So today we are going to introduce our coming soon products, the new edition for Shadow Series, Epo Maker Shadow S. Now I have already put the assembled keyboard here but later we will we're gonna do the unboxing 
total introduction about it. And then, as far as I know, it's a VIA compatible keyboard. Yeah, right here. Tanky mode and VIA compatible mechanical keyboard with an LCD screen. So, later we're gonna test out the VIA and then the screen, figure out everything about this keyboard. Okay? For right now, let's browse the website, see its feature. Guys, just feel free to comment to let me know any problem, any questions you have. And I will try my best to help you to resolve all your questions. Here, let's see, Evil Maker Shadow S. Unlock your potential where innovation meets personalization. Well, these words. <laughs> Subscribe to get an early bird price, okay? Input your email address and subscribe and you will get the, get the notification and uh, get a chance for an early bird prize. So personally, I think this keyboard is actually looks a bit alike with the Shadow X. It's just the Shadow X is effing rollers and tunculus. Well, Shadow S is just a tunculus. They both have a knob and a screen. 85 keys with a knob and a screen. 4,000 large battery. Trim mode for sure. Gasket structure, yes. 1.14 inch smart screen, full key hot swappable. Hmm. Upload image. Well, well, this key looks like F13, but we didn't get to know its function. Maybe we'll figure it out later. Is it a, well, it's not a delay. Maybe it's F13 and it's VIA compatible that you can customize and remap it into anything, any keys you want. Hello, Nissa. Nissa. I like the keyboard, but the numpad is a must. Well, numpad, we just have a brand new numpad, EK21X, and aluminum numpad. That meets your needs. Well, nowadays more people are requiring keyboards to be via programmable. So our Repo Maker Shadow S gaming keyboard is fully compatible with via software. To program every key according to your specific needs and preferences. One point forty inch programmable smart screen. Well, since the keyboard is via compatible, that means this keyboard cannot be recognized by our Ecomaker driver, I think. So the screen, if you want to upload any image animations on it, it must be using the image tool. Don't worry, I will show you later everything. But I don't know if they ever uploaded, ever upgraded the Shadow S into the image tool. Let's try it later.
Five layers of foams are act for excellent sound performance. Well, let me guess. Porn foam, sweet sheet, and the caustic PET sheet, and the socket foam, and the bottom foam. I think should be this. Gas game on it, of course. Trim mode, wireless, wired gaming keyboard. Here, the Technic specifications. 85 keys and a knob and a screen. We have programmable gas game on it. The play mount is stabilizer, trim mode connectivity, flex cut PC plate. Wow, that will be very soft. 4000 mAh large battery, Nanki rollover. Yes, the polling rate. Well, this is a must know for gaming, for gamers. Okay, the polling rate. The LED south facing, cable lens about 1.8, has swappable. Yes, comparable with 3 pin, 5 pin switches. Alright then. Now let's go back to the desk and do a unboxing. I love tankless or 75, so this is perfect for me. Well, then you should get one, Phoebe. This will be released very soon. Okay, so now this version, you can see it is pink, but Well, I don't know if it really looks like pink, orange pink, I think, in your, from um, from the monitor. Because from my eyes, I can see it's, uh, it's pink. But from my screen, it's not pink. Now let's do the unboxing. Peach pink. Well, yeah, peach pink. Let's open it and see what this one looks like. The packaging is very ritual style, right? The TH80 Pro V2, the packaging of it, it looks alike with this one. Accessories are underneath. Let's see what will we get. A cable for sure, Type-C and Type-A. Extra switches. For this variant, I opted the Flamingo switch. So the extra switches are Flamingo. And uh, always in the box, 21 keycap switch puller. And underneath the keyboards, well, underneath or like this, the menu, Ipo Maker Shadow F. Do you guys have any advice, suggestions for about our menu? Like how should we upgrade it? What kind of format do you like to see?
this one. The ritual wrap. Wow. Elegant. Cool and elegant, I think. So these are the current keyboards color options for Shadow S. Which one do you like? Guys, let me know your option. The ritual red or the peach pink. Hello, Catmon. Love the colors on this. <laughs> well, must pick one. Which one would? Which one do you prefer? For me, I like the red one. Yeah, male red. We got same choice. I like the red one, too. The ritual style, the ritual red. It's removable. Let's take a closer and detailed look about it. Hello, Kunko. Welcome back to our streaming. Here, obviously, the knob at the screen. Does anyone here remember what the function of the knob on Shadow X? Well, you know, normally the knob function as a volume control, but not the Shadow X. Does anyone know what's the knob function on Shadow X? I am awaiting an answer. Hello, hello, Conco. Good to see you again. Well, guys, let me know if my sounds a bit lower or the music sounds too loud, so I can adjust. Don't know. Well, this Shadow S is volume control for sure. While the, this is Shadow X, okay? These two looks quite different, but quite alike. The function of the knobs on Shadow X is connection mode switch. So this is the first difference between these two keyboards, okay? On Shadow X, the knob is for switching different connection modes. You can see off. Off means wired connection, and G means 2.4 gigahertz connection, and B123, that is Bluetooth connection. On Shadow S, this one, the knob is volume control, and this is an aluminum alloy shoy. Alloy knob, yes. Up, down, and mute. And here is the screen.
and uh, here a little little light strip, a small light strip. And uh, I think this one should also be a light indicator, but I haven't tested out this keyboard yet, so we will figure it out later. Okay. And for this keyboard, you can see the curve. Cherry profile for sure. Here, there's no LED strip okay it's just a design and two le two level stage feet cherry profile and this special curve I think it it looks well it will looks even better if it has a LED strip here but obviously no let's see the back side the brand Epoch Maker Shadow S and four rubber feet the screws is visible too which means this keyboard is easy to tear down sort of and screws are here too here you got you can find the 2.4 gigahertz tango and the connection mode switch 2.4 USB Bluetooth and the device I mean the operation system switch Mac and Windows and the Type-C port and you can find two decorative pieces in the upside and downside A very small design idea but makes this keyboard looks more elegant. Got any question about about this keyboard? If there's no any questions about it, then let's continue. Let's check out the keycaps and the switches. Cherry profile die sub technique keycaps. PVT material for sure. Very durable for using. And let's check out the screen. I will use the 2.4 connection. Maybe you guys got a question about how to 
custom the time and date on the screen. Well, unfortunately, these keyboards have already set. Not from the factory, it's just if you ever download the image tool and are trying to upload any images on it, the moment you open you, the custom image tool, the date and time and year, it will be set. Let me see if this one has been set or not. Okay, this one the same. Forever. Don't worry. So, the LED strip. And the, from the screen, you can see it shows the year, time, Windows mode, connection mode, caps lock, and the Windows lock. Do you guys want me to open the keyboard to show you guys the inner part? If yes, then I am planning to tear down this one because this one has already connected to the to my my computer. Okay. So I think I will tear down this one and show you guys the inner side of the keyboard. Because personally, I think this one is quite easy to open, like the shadow axe. Okay, let's do it. Was there a sound test already? No, 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 we haven't done the sound test yet. After we give a fully introduction about this keyboard, we will do the sound test. All right? So, uh, I'm sorry, I can, I don't know if I can tell the names correct. Yeah, screws, not a clipping structure. Screws will make it more easy to open it. I haven't, I didn't remove any keycaps or switches or knobs. But I don't think that would be a question. The phones, they are quite easy to see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It looks like a clipping and the screw structure combined together. Not just the uh, screws. It 
yeah here in the middle part we got a few clips but this still makes it a lot more easy to open rather than the whole clip structure right one's part and here's the other one because there has you know there has two like I said the two decorative pieces and it doesn't have any screws on it so this one must be clipped with the up case and the bottom case but the up case and the bottom case they are screwed together in here the screws Guys, you know what I mean? Okay, this is the upper case. These four feet is where the screws locate. And these three are the clips not clip with the bottom case but for the oops these pieces Coral foams. Wow, guys, you can see the foams. Is the top plate bent? No, I don't think so. Ooh, maybe a little bit. Maybe I'm too force break. But not that much. It says the plate is has flux cut. Let's see. Well, this one is equipped with our Mulan switch. Do you guys prefer flex cut? Well, honestly, per I don't like flex cuts. Too much flex cuts, I mean. I mean, we can have flex cuts on the plate or on the PCB, but 
it's better not to have them both has flex cut. You know, flex cut PCB with flex cut PC plate or other flex cut plate. Because I think flex cut makes the sound sound, makes the sound performance. I mean, whatever switches you put on a keyboard that has both flex cut PCB and flex cut plate, there's no much difference. Well, yeah, Conco, that's one of the defects about flex cuts. That makes the keyboards <laughs> more dirty. I mean, more dust, yeah. Oh, okay, so there's no socket foam. But I'm guessing there must be a plate absorbing foam. P sheet and the caustic sheet. Let me remove the cable first. Here you can see the south facing LED. And the switches. Well, the one we have here is our Mulan switch. And it is a three pin switch. So you didn't see any holes for the the plastic feet, but we have holes for it. So that means the PCB is compatible with five pin switches. Okay? And see little here we've got flex cuts. And another point is that flex cut plate makes it harder to installing switches. Don't know if anyone got the same feeling with me, but I don't quite like the too much flex cuts. Especially the perky flex cuts for every single piece. That really makes it torture to install switches. And here the LED strip and the screen and knob. Back side, we don't have the, you know, the socket foam, but we do have a Porong foam, not porong. Well, just a bottom foam, but I don't know what material it is. I mean, I guess it's a material, but I cannot see it because I'm not very sure about it. Okay, I had a guess, but I cannot see it. And a silicone another silicone bottom foam so i think this one it should be functioned as a socket foam to prevent the pcb backside interface with the bottom case but it didn't like really adhesive like we know to the socket.
and here you gotta see the gasket strip they are actually the same thickness right And I can see the play foam switch sheet and a I mean a plastic sheet. Well, just for you guys, notice everything seen there. And another funny thing, really, like I just said, the this pieces, the decorative this pieces, it is clips with the bottom case. Here, you can see the clips. Okay, now... Well, I will assemble it later. Let's do the... screen and the via on that one, all right? Switching mode, wired 2.4 GHz Bluetooth. Well... We can switch in the mode here, switching the mode. Currently it is in 2.4 gigahertz. And now it's black because I switch it into wired mode but I didn't plug in any wire to the to connect the keyboard to device, so it didn't show anything. And then Bluetooth mode, people maker, yeah. Now it's in Bluetooth one. Press FN and QWE, that means Bluetooth one, two, three. So you can connect up to three devices under Bluetooth connection.
Now let me download the image tool. Well, actually all our screens or anything they are actually they can compatible with all our keyboards. But right now there's too much driver or anything. In Apple Maker image custom tool. This is for uploading pictures, animations on the keyboard. So let's read more and download. It is set for THD Pro V2, but the uh, you know the screen, the format is the THD Pro V2 and the Shadow S. They are the same, so they can use the same image custom tool. Guys, just give me a sec. I'm installing the image tool, and once done, I will show you guys right away. Well, as said, device not detect. Please check that your system is compatible with device and if it is linked to a USB cable. So, which means if you want to upload any pictures to the keyboard, you got to do it under wired connection. So right now, I will connect the device in wired mode. And it shows up. You can draw things like Shadow S and uploading the frame, then it will show on the screen. But I don't want to upload <laughs> this drawing, so I'll upload another picture. Animations, which I will need to find a bit. And now uploading all frame, then it will show on screen. But I will need to show you the very detail. Guys, I click uploading and watch the screen. Uploading, don't operate. It takes a while, but it will succeed eventually. You see the, the time here? It's 
stopped, which means it is uploading. Just unlike our driver, it indeed takes a while. See? Succeed. So that's it. That's how you upload the pictures to the screen. So after the screen, now let's try out the VIA. To connect the keyboard to VIA, since it is VIA compatible, we need to test it, right? I don't want to download any software, so I will just use the online VIA. Oh, that's our EK21. Maybe they tested it some time ago. Well, guys, wait a sec. I'm up. I'm finding the JSON file now. Shadow S, yes. 2.4. Let's try two modes. First, for USB mode, which I'm currently using the USB mode. Uploading. And it shows up. Really, really easy, all right? It's an online VIA, so it needs to authorize devices. And so it shows. It's very, very easy. Guys, got any questions about it? Oh, so on the via, we can see this key. This the one I thought it is F thirteen. The key function as print. can do like basic rim, basic the rainbow keys lighting control media control creating macrons change different layers and special keys that you need lighting mode different lighting mode custom and other well this will be based on personal needs yeah yes 
actually really useful. And every time when you're creating macrons or remap any keys, don't forget to save the current layout. Okay, if you don't save, you don't save it, it will not be saved to the keyboard. Okay, now we tested that the keyboards can successfully connect to VIA and you guys can do anything you want through the VIA to remap, to customize your own shadow S. Now we are moving on to the sound test and later do the light test, okay, the RGB test. Okay. So, oh, oops guys, forgot about one thing. We haven't tested the VIA under 2.4 connection mode. Now let's try again. Okay, I will switch the keyboards into 2.4 connection. Remove the cable. And now you see the VIA searching again and uh, this is the USB definitions so I will upload the 2.4 JSON file and other definitions and it shows again So that means we can connect to via rather on the rather with wired connection or 2.4 wireless connection. Okay, great. Let's move on to the yeah sound test. But I don't. I will do the sound test without connection. Okay. Just an ASMR typing. Now let's begin. This one, this is the flamingo switch, okay?
guys see the flat see the bouncy can you see the gasket structure with PC plate so it is really it is indeed soft type in feeling So, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about the Flamingo Switch? Or the sound performance about this keyboard? Now let's do another one, okay? Another one equipped with our Mulan switch. Yeah, what about Mulan? That's what I'm doing right now. Ooh, these two knobs, the different colors. Okay, now let's hear the sound test for Mulan switch.
Really fine tuned stabilizer, I think. What's the price for this? Ninety nine point ninety nine. Yeah, a hundred dollars. Sold out? Not sold out. It's just it's a coming soon. Conco, okay? Not sold out. We haven't had any stocks on it, so it shows sold out. But the keyboards, it's actually not in stock yet. It's a coming soon product. We'll be awaiting the keyboards to arrive in stock and then release it officially. Otherwise, once we release the keyboards and you guys find it really intriguing, interesting, and like it, and so you guys bought it, but there's no stock for these keyboards, then you guys will be waiting for a very long time until it arrives and then ships to you. It will take a very long time. So right now, we will <laughs> So right now we will do like we'll release a coming soon page for our new products so that you guys will know will be, what keyboards will be released from us step by step and then once the once our keyboards the the the, the I mean the stock arrive in our warehouse then we will release it officially, both on Amazon, on official website, on AliExpress, on, yeah. And then you guys can buy it if you find it really intriguing and like it. And then, so, and then it can be shipped out very soon to save you guys from waiting. Because waiting for a very long time really don't feel so good. I don't like I don't like that the that kind of waiting. Like I buy these things and then I need to wait for it like a month or so. No. I prefer I buy it and then I buy it and then it ships out and uh, reached me just within a week. That'll be a perfect timing. What do I do for April Maker? Well, I do streaming. <laughs> thank you, thank you, so far. Thank you for your support. Well, if you really enjoyed my streaming, we have scheduled it every Tuesday and Thursday. Well, in your time zone, it's Monday and Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday night. And in my time zone, it's Tuesday and Thursday morning. So, if you enjoy the streaming, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And you'll get a notification that we are doing streaming and so you can come in and see if this keyboards this products interest you i'm still waiting for my dino tab yeah i know that the dino tab <laughs> it's got a little little problem but we're fixing it so i think your order will be shipped very soon will we oh in California. Well, in my time, it's Tuesday and um, Thursday morning. I thought it should be Monday and Wednesday night for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it should be Monday and Wednesday night. <laughs> And one thing is that, oh, wait. I was trying to say something and I forgot it. Just, 
Well, just give me a sec. Oh, yeah. We have, I mean, in your time zone, it's Monday and Wednesday night for English streaming. And for Tuesday night, it's our Korean streaming. <laughs> well, I'm just introducing it. If you guys are interested, maybe you, can, you guys can visit our Korean streaming. <laughs> Will you do mode on Tito Stella next week? Wow, Phoebe, you really got, <laughs> you really follow ups. We just released the Tito Stella. And the, yes, I have applied for it to me. Maybe it will arrive in next week. I don't know if I will mode it because I haven't tried that keyboard yet. I will need to hear the sounds and find if anything I don't like it, then I will mode it. But if I enjoy the keyboards, then I will mode. I will. I won't mode it. That depends. No, the Stella, Tito Stella. Well, that one really looks like a combination from seventy five plus and uh, Nebula. Like a combination for these two, and then we get Stella. <laughs> Ah, Konko, <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> I haven't done modding for quite a while, because for most recently, for most our most of our keyboards, I find them actually quite pleasing. No need to mod too much, so I didn't do modding in streaming for quite a long time. But you know, previous streaming. Any keyboards that needs any modding, like tape mode or any mode, everything is me. And I also shoot videos for modding. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. We should do the light test, right? Maybe next, well, modding. I'm thinking about if I should mod one of our old keyboards. Because, you know, modding really takes time. It's a time killer. If I do a mod on while I'm doing streaming, it will be a very, very long streaming, like one, two, two, two to three hours, maybe, if I do a modding. But modding actually is very intriguing and definitely will attract more people to come in to our streaming. Right. Yeah, modding takes so long. Find my device and trying to type some words. Oops, where's my? Oh, here. It does. It's why most of my modes are just tape, sometimes dampening mats. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be very much enough, I think. For most of the sounds, tape mode can
Okay, let's do the light test for now. My best sanding board is just you can make a little high sand pipe. Well, I think high 75 doesn't need too much modding. Actually, no modding at all. But also, I think the high 75, as it has flex cut PCB and the flex cut PC plate. So whatever switches put on it, they sound basically the same to me. Yeah. They sound way too good from factory. LED light strip. They are meant to pre present a no modding sound performance. Now let's do the sound, uh, the light test. <laughs> Sorry. Press F and the back space means turn on and off the back lights. Oops, this should be great. Can you guys see the light? And uh, well, guys, I just got a one one question. How do you guys name this key? I don't know how to say this key. Slash no. Backslash. Okay. So press F and the backslash means toggle the backlight RGB effects. Oh, this is the forward slash. This is the backslash. Oh, I get it. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is back and this is forward. <laughs> okay, I get it. Backslash and this is the forward slash. Okay. So, FN and the backslash means toggle the backlight RGB effects. Different effects.
Oh, Conco, you really know how to describe this. <laughs> Perky RGB. Fn press Fn and up and down means brightness and left and right that is speed as usual. Oh no, up and down is brightness. Yes, well these two are speed. And these two left and right backlight hue. What is hue? Ah. Now I get it. Not the exact color, but transforming the Yeah, like this, like this. Okay. Then how do you guys call this two key? Color change, yeah. How do you guys say this two? <laughs> well, it sounds weird that I'm doing a keyboard streaming, but I don't know how to Well, it won't change how press it until you need to keep pressing it. Square bracket. Okay, got it. Square bracket. Open and close. Okay, okay, get it. Thank you, Konko. <laughs> now I get this. I will need to write it down so I don't forget it. Okay, so press Fn and this square bracket, that means the backlight, I don't know how, I don't know the saturation. Can you guys see the difference? Saturation. Saturation up and down. Press Fn and the spacebar means reset. Reset the keyboard, reset. And Fn and enter means toggle the screen display. Fn and 
Fn and X means turn on and off the screen display. This means turn off. It shows nothing. And turn on. And for control, the light strip that will be using the page up and page down. I think this should be good. Oh, a bit dark here. Page up, page down. Fn, Fn, and the page up. Toggle the light strip effects. Now it looks like breathing. Always on. No. And Fn, press Fn and page down means toggle the light strip color. Well, don't know if you guys can really tell the difference from the camera, because this is red to me, but maybe it looks like orange to you. Red, yellow. Well, this is yellow. That one is orange. I'm sorry. And green, blue, light, dark blue, purple, and white, and yellow, and red. So this is everything about this keyboard. Do you guys have any question about it? Any other colors planned? Currently, no. Currently, only these two color options. But maybe we'll do a survey or something like that to collect if there's other colors that you guys want to know. You want to get if there's other colors you guys want to get. Maybe we'll take it into consideration and release it in the future for an updating. Like the Shadow X, first Shadow X only has the black silver one and later we got other three colors out. We should make the light strip longer. Longer, like the light strip on V87. Yeah, this one well looks better. Can you do a side-by-side -side typing? 
guys, what do you mean, uh, when I read, what do you mean by side by side typing? Okay, but I will need to uh, turn the keyboards off because <laughs> the keyboard can, has connect to my device. So if I type it on this one, it will show on the screen. So I need to turn it off. Mulan switch. This one Mulan switch. Well, if you want to know which one sounds louder, well, definitely Flamingo. Yeah, well, for whatever keyboards you're going to get, if you want to find a louder sound performance, definitely Flamingo. It sounds really loud, just like its name. Okay. Do you guys have any other question? If not, then I guess this is all about today. What's your favorite ice cream? Well, I don't like ice cream, sorry. Thanks for the preview. Well, that's okay. Once it is officially released, and if we have other new colors coming out, I will do a streaming about it once again. Okay? But if there's no any changes about this keyboard, then the preview is the official. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys for watching.
Just join the world. This support of VI. Yes, yes. The web hat. You can. When's the release? Well, very soon. It's already has a coming soon page on our website. So once the keyboards are in stock, the keyboard it will be officially released. Maybe just a uh, one to one to one or two weeks of waiting. Maybe. Thank you guys for watching. The webhead. If you want to know everything about these keyboards, you can watch the whole streaming replay. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.